Isang na namang maaksyong linggo ng bakbakan sa hardcore ang aming hihahandog sa inyo sa pagpapatuloy ng men's basketball tournament dito sa Season 94 ng NCAA. We are back at the Phil Oil Flying V Center para sa tatlong mainit na laban starting off with the Mopua University Cardinals taking on the San Sebastian College Recoletos Golden Stags. At pagkatapos noon, mapapanood din natin ang College of St. Benil Blazers na harap naman sa LPU Pirates. And finally, at 4 p.m. in our third game, Colegio de San Juan de Letran will take on Arellano University. Ang lahat ng ito ay napapanood ng live sa SNA, Liga, the Filipino Channel, and of course on sports.abs-cbn.com. Mabuhay Pilipinas! Ako po ang inyong lingkod, Anton Rojas, at sa unang pagkakataon dito sa NCAA Season 94, makakasama ko ang star point guard ng Bacoor City Strikers ng Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League, Mikey Reyes. Of course, thank you. That's the introduction mo Anton. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon with, uh, to everyone watching us at home. Very exciting matchup, Anton. Both teams coming off losses. One was a blowout, the other medyo heartbreaking, but both losses nonetheless. So we can expect a very exciting matchup here. You're right about that, Mikey. Double black eye ang nangyari sa San Sebastian after losing in overtime in their last two defeats. Ito na mga mapuha na bigo kontra sa defending champion San Pedro University Red Lions. So you're right about that. It's gonna be exciting because both these teams want to bounce back. Yes, they both need these wins. Tingnan mo naman ang ating standing. Medyo nasa ilalim ang dalawang teams na ito. And yes, we are early in the season pero ayaw mong maiwan dyan. You would want to step up sa ladder ng konti. So I'm sure both teams have enough motivation to go, to go out there and perform in today's game. Of course, Mikey, dito sa ating paribagong season, maraming mga bagmuka na nagpapakilala, katulad na lamang ni Warren Bonifacio uh, ng Mapua University. This guy was part of the defensive team in high school, Mythical Five also in the juniors, and he had a career-high 19 points sa kanilang huling laban. One half of the Twin Towers coming from the Red Robins program, itong si Warren Bonifacio, proven winner. He was in the finals ng juniors division he has shown potential dun sa juniors nag dominate siya dun ngayon dinadala niya sa seniors level kita mo naman against the defending champions the San Beda University Red Lions he scored 19 points grabbed 12 boards against the front line na hindi biro of course yung San Beda yun so tingnan natin if he can be consistent eh, meron ng bagong mukha ang, ba ang Mapua Red Car ang Mapua Cardinals this guy has a lot of potential only 20 years old he comes from San Fernando Pampanga at alam natin Mikey, marami mga magagaling na manlalaro, especially dito sa NCAA na nanggaling sa Pampanga. Katulad na lamang ni Michael Calisa na tubong Santa Rita, Pampanga. And he had another double-double performance. But it wasn't just him. Pati si Alin Bulanadi at Alvin Capopres na karoon din ng double-double. Kaya lang, gaya ng sinabi ko kanina, sila ay nabigo sa overtime kontra sa EAC. Stats-wise, grabe ang ilaro nitong tatlo. Three-headed monster ng San Sebastian. Ang problema dito sa San Sebastian is the consistency. Again, uh, come from behind victory ang kalaban nila. Come from behind eh. Nung fourth quarter, lagi bumibigay itong team ni Coach Egay Makaraya. 23 points, 14-13 respectively to sa tatlong ito. At yung rebounds nila, double digit din pare-parehas. Problema nga yung consistency nila. The way they play from first to fourth is what what's important for Coach Egay. Can they finally get a win after two heartbreaking losses against Arellano and DAC? Well, well, we're about to see kung uh, makakabangon nga itong kubo na ni Coach Egay Makaraya, a team that is undergoing a lot of adversity dito sa Season 94 ng NCA. Pero sa puntang ito, puntaan muna natin ang ating courtside reporter na si Siege Tantengo. Magandang hapon, Anton and Mikey. Bukod sa inaabangan nating basketball action, syempre inaabangan din natin ang mga pananaw ng ating NCA fans. Kaya kung kayo nanonood sa bahay, sa office, o di kaya on the road by live stream, just use our hashtags NCAA Season 94 at hashtag Galing NCAA. Aabangan namin ang inyong mga predictions o di kaya reactions sa mga favorite shots ninyo. And I'll be right back with my first report. We'll wait for that report, Siege. Maraming salamat. When we come back, eto na po bangan sa pagitan ng Mapua University at San Sebastian College Recoletos dito lang sa Season 94 ng NCAA.
Dawat Tracy Lugo, point guard. Lawrence Victoria, point guard. Christian Bunyag, center. Eric Abel, point guard. Warren Bonifacio, forward. Arjan De La Cruz, point guard. Jericho Isidro, shooting guard. JM Calma, center. Michael Kalisaan, forward. Alin Bulanadi, shooting guard. Panibagong linggo ng aksyon ang aming ihandog sa inyo ngayon sa SND panggaan sa pagitan ng Mabuhay University at ng San Sebastian College Recoletos. Coach Atoy Go now going with that two-point guard setup to begin this matchup. Noah Lugo and EJ Habel who has shown a lot of courage sa kanyang unang limang laro dito sa kanyang NCAA career. Michael Galisaan, the veteran playing in his final year sa NCAA will hopefully try to lead his team to victory today after coming up short in overtime in their past two games. Michael Calisan, umarang kadagan. Michael Calisan, dere derecho. What a way to start! Last two games, Anton. Coincidentally, ako nagcover. Ganyan si Michael Calisan sa simula palang very very aggressive, trying to find his rhythm right away. And I was talking about how Doa Lugo and EJ Habel, two point guards, are starting off. EJ Habel was coming off the bench, but because of the courage that he has been showing, especially in the end game. He has earned the starting nod, but speaking of courage, Bulanadi also pinapakita ang kanyang tapang at naagaw pa niya ang bola. Bulanadi, cross-court pass, De La Cruz. De La Cruz on the inside, too strong off the glass. De La Cruz na naman, puntos para sa San Sebastian. San Sebastian eh. Ayaw na na natatalo. Of course, two heartbreak, heartbreak losses. Eh, ngayon, talagang yung pressure nila. And the way they drive, eh, talagang agresibo. At sa wakas, sa kapuntos na rin ang Mabuhay University, courtesy of Noah Lugo. But what a start, Mikey, for Michael Calisan, Alin Bulanadi, part of that big three that you were talking about in the pregame. Oh, yung big three nila ngayon. Of course, RK hasn't been playing. Uh, Si Arjen De La Cruz ang talagang nagsistep up. Galing Rizal yan, galing Taytay. At nagpapakilala because of the absence of their top point guard. I want to ask you about the two-point guard setup. Being a point guard yourself, mahirap ba yun knowing that there's another guy who can do your job at the same time on the court? It actually makes it easier kasi yung pressure medyo nare-release sa'yo. The, the, the time that you bring down the ball, mahahati. Unlike kung ikaw lang ang point guard doon, all the pressure is on you. Ang importante lang dyan, they both need to stay aggressive kasi because you have two point guards, you're setting a scorer out. Yung dos mo, point guard. So kailangan agresibo ka and try to score din kasi, you know, hinahalf mo nga ang duties. Dalawa nga ang point guard ni Coach Atoy ko, kaya lang medyo oh. umapak sa sideline yung isa nilang point guard doon. I thought it was supposed to be easier to bring down the ball. Na, 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 napahiya ako doon ah. <laughs> sa Mandala. Bula nadi, binigay dito kay Michael Calisan. Calisan against Bonifacio. This is a rookie against a veteran. A good matchup between one of the future power forwards ng NCA against a guy who has been one of the best in the league the past three years. I've, I've said this time and again, arguably the best power forward in the league is Michael Calisan. He, you can only put him on the same sentence as J.V. Mokon. Kaya talagang I'm sure maraming matututunan itong si Warren Bonifacio. Michael Calisan, binigay kay De La Cruz. De La Cruz against Habel. De La Cruz, binigay kay Bulanadi. Bulanadi, umikot. Limang segundo, natitira sa shot clock. Bulanadi against Bonifacio. He has to shoot. He shoots it. Too strong. And the ball will go back to the Cardinals. Great defense there. Para dito kay Lawrence Victoria. Ito si Victoria, kilalang ano din to, kilalang scorer. Pero you see, he's guarding a much bigger Alin Bulanadi and he's holding his ground. 8 to 3 ang ating talaan. Scoring is what Victoria does. He takes his first shot, just a little bit too strong. Balik ang bola sa Baste. Mga Sebastino, tumatakbo. Bulanadi, pinedepensa ni Lugo. Bulanadi, umikot. Pinasa sa labas. De La Cruz. And that's a foul. 
Galing, galing nito si De La Cruz. The way he slices the defense, is shifty, changes direction. Tapos kita mo, looking, keeping his head up for those drop passes, finding calma there. Natawagan lang ng foul doon. Malabas pa lang. De La Cruz and, and Habel are very similar in terms of their role on the team. Guys that, if they score, it's a bonus. Dahil oh. mga bata lang sila, eh, mga, mga rookies. Oh, mga ano, bonus points yan ang mga kuha ng coaches nila. And the way they set the offense up, yun ang talagang main role nila, gaya ng sabi mo, Anton. De La Cruz behind the back dribble. De La Cruz to Calma. Too strong, Lugo with the board. Now the Mapuans are running. DJ Havel trying to get into Christian Bunyag. Now Bunyag, Mikey, is a guy who has struggled offensively after averaging a double-double in the previous year. Si Bunyan yung nakakabulat eh, kasi magugulat ka na lang, double-double na pala at the end of the game. Pero yun na nga, um, maybe because of the entry din of Warren Bonifacio, medyo may katulong na siya sa ilalim. So, hindi na, minsan hindi na siya nagiging yung focal point unlike last season. Pero he is still there in, uh, in the game, uh, anchoring the defense din naman of Mapua. Cedric Pelayo is now in the game at 15 points. Sa kanila muling laban, Bonifacio missing on that jumper. Pero ang ganda ng high-low dito ngayon, yung play ni Coach Atoy ko, Anton. Kasi deadly yung, yung taas na big man, which is Bonifacio. Deadly din yung ilalim, which is Bunyag. So may twin towers din. Itong mapuha kagaya ng twin towers ng Red Robins before. Victoria Ubigon, nataping mula sa likod. Look at De La Cruz run. Oh, De La Cruz! I thought that ball was not going to fall. But De La Cruz able to finish it. Bonifacio, drinking a Victoria. Victoria all the way. Nice seal. Seal na screen. Doon ang ginawa ni Bunyag to give Victoria that open lane for that easy layup. Yun ang mga malit na tulong. Itong si Bunyag, very, very smart big man for Mapua. De La Cruz against Lugo. De La Cruz wants to get it to Kalisan. This is our featured matchup. But De La Cruz decides to drive. Calma. Tinapik sa kalaban. Bunyag with the board. And Coach Ega is steaming at the De La Cruz. He wanted that ball to get to Michael Kalisan. Timeout muna tayo magbabalik po ang season 94 ng NCAA. Nagbabalik ang NCAA season 94 dito lang sa SNA. Let's focus on improving ourselves instead of on the distractions. Yan ang sabi ni Coach Ege Makaraya sa stags in the absence of RK Ilagan. Inaamin man niya na mahirap ang panahong ito para sa kanyang squad. Sabi niya, this is an opportunity to build character and kung sakaling manalo, makabawi rin tayo ng morale. Wala namang specific player na sinabihan niya to carry more responsibility ang gusto niya overall team effort. Sabi ni Coach Ege, together we will all play for San Sebastian. Back to you, Anton. Coach Egay Makaraya knows what it takes to get to the top of the mountain in the NCAA. He was part of the champion team back in 1985, season 61. Wow. Season 61, Mikey. Magagalit si Coach Egay sa akin. Nabanggit natin yung year. But there's a lot of pride when you wear that San Sebastian jersey. And that's why... Coach Ega coaches with a lot of pride as well. How many, ilang era na of, of great players ang lumalabas sa San Sebastian program. And Now, Coach Ega can say that the champion siya bago yung era oh, oh. ni Romel Adukul. <laughs> <laughs> yung five-pin nila Romel talagang, Adukul. Pag narinig ni Coach Ega ito, talagang magagalit na siya. <laughs> Tagal na nun. <laughs> And imagine after all this time, Coach Ega is still connected to the game he loves. Oh yeah, I mean, nawala siya sa NCAA for a while, pero he was really doing wonders. It's a, it's a semi-pro leagues, tapos sa other collegiate leagues, as, his, as Isidro repays the, the confidence na binibigay sa kanyang Coach Ega. Extra playing time itong si Isidro. Bonifacio to Victoria. Victoria falling down. And he will head to the line for two. Smart play there for Lawrence Victoria, knowing that it's a 
yung sasabay sa kanya doon. So using his body to protect the ball as we look at this size of three-pointer from Isidro over Loris Victoria. So Victoria is another player na nanggaling sa high school basketball program. Yung Malayan Red Robins. Ito yung, I'm sure um, Coach Ega is happy with this. All of his starters. And nakascore na. Very well balanced attack for San Sebastian. Everyone being aggressive. Everyone trying to help out their cause in today's game. De La Cruz really benefiting from the absence of R.K. Ilagan. Kalisan, binigay kay Bulanadi. Bulanadi, Stumepa. Using a lot of moves to get the shot off. Kalma. Kalma scores! I really like how JM, JM Kalma plays. He just plays alongside Michael Kalisan. Alam niya si Michael yung focus ng depensa. So, hahanapin lang niya yung spots niya. Kailan siya makakuha ng drop pass, mga putback, mga ganun. Kaya, ang ganda. Ang ganda na nilalaro nito si JM Kalma. And he is the most undersized center in the NCAA. <laughs> True. <laughs> Kaya pagkalaban niya, yung mga may foreign athlete, napapalaban to si Calm. Kaya ata nagpapahaba ng book para umakit. <laughs> Cross court pass. Pula Nadi shoots over Pelayo. In and out and De La Cruz snatching that ball away from everybody. Pula Nadi, binigay kay Kalisan. Kalisan over Bonifacio. And Calma again with the rebound. Look at that guy work. And De La Cruz knocks down a triple from the corner. Sergeant De La Cruz from the corner. Kanina pa niya inihingi doon. Kaya lang, di siya nakita ni Kalisan. Pero nabalik sa kanya. And he connects from the outside. You were saying, Anton, he's really benefiting from the absence of RK. Pero, nagsimula pa yan. Nung nawala si, nag-graduate si Ryan Costello. Si Renzo Navarro, nawala din. So talagang itong si Arjen just staying ready. At ito, binibigyan na siya ng pagkakataon ni Coach Egay. Now, here's a guy who is uh, doesn't look as undersized as Calma. <laughs> uh, coming in, see si Jesse Sumona Jr., number 14. Pelayo gets the ball back. Pelayo with a jumper. Si Cedric Pelayo, mahilig to mira from the right side. And this in between game, he doesn't need to shoot from the three, he doesn't need to go all the way to the basket. Yung perimeter jump shot niya, ang talagang minaster niya, and making the most of it here in the NCAA. Bula nadi mula sa kanto. Aguirre, pati De La Cruz, nagbabanggaan para sa rebound. Bula nadi wala talagang consensus. Bula nadi. Last game, he was 5 of 25 for 14 points. Ngayon, talagang kumakamada na naman itong si Alin. San Sebastian leads Mapua 20-11. Let's talk about Cedric Pelayo. He only played 12 games last season because of fracture on his foot. But this year, 100% healthy, the Phil Canadian had his second highest scoring output in his NCAA career with 15 sa kanilang huling laban. And in 12 shots, Anton, ibig sabihin lang, eh, may kumpiyansa tumira itong si Cedric Pelay. He is given the go signal, the green light by Coach Atoy Ko. And he is making the most of the, the confidence na binibigay nga sa kanya. And off the bench din yan, Anton. So malaking tulong yan sa Mapua. They have a scorer who comes in and just really shoots. Cedric Pelayo, he started in uh, three out of six games, including this one. So, may mga times na binibigyan siya ng pagkakataon ni Coach Atoy. And that's kind of hard for a player. I'm sure you know that, Mikey, for having to sometimes come off the bench and start. Oh, that's very true. Ako, I, I hate it when I come off the bench. <laughs> Kasi <laughs> gusto ko yung umiinit ako. Pero some players are just really good coming off the bench. They're ready. Right when they enter, talagang agresibo na sila. Hindi lang talaga ako nasanay ng ganun. Pero itong si Cedric Pilayo can do both. So malaking bagay yan for Coach Atoy ko. Big adjustment on his part. Michael Are is in the game now. Marami talaga mga matatapak na point guards eh, itong baste. Are. 
Kapobres against Pelayo. Kapobres fakes, turns, fires. Kapobres scores. Kapobres. Kapobres is a pato coming off the bench right away, making his presence felt, making that tough fall away and makes it. Double-double din yan. Sa kanilang huling laban, si Alvin Kapobres, Bonifacio, pinigay kay Pelayo. This time from the left side. Three, one, seven, That spot Pelayo. of the counter. Ganda ng bitaw nitong si Pelayo. Talagang the backspin, the follow-through is there. Very, very basic. Five points now in the game. Para kay Cedric Pelayo. Are. Villapanto. Pinalik kay Are. Michael Are for three. Sumoda. Kapopres with the basket. Kapopres just being at the right place at the right time there. Scoring that putback. Aguirre. Bonifacio. Pelayo. To Aguirre. Bonifacio could not get to that rebound. Valdez is now in para sa San Sebastian. Valdez, Are, Villapanto, Sumona. Hinahanap si Capobres, pero nabigay sa kalaban. Garcia, natapik ni Are. What a steal by Are. Are, binigay kay Capobres. Capobres shoots too strong. Bonifacio with the board. Tempo is it. Mataas na. Ibilis na ang laban dito. And I believe this will benefit itong San Sebastian because we all know how fast yung gustong pace ni Coach Egay Makaraya. It has been a fast-paced game. A fast start for San Sebastian. Michael Calisan, first basket of the contest. It was a 6 to nothing start para sa San Sebastian. Bago naka-score si Noah Lugo, Arjan de la Cruz getting involved. And Lawrence Victoria getting buckets as well. Meron siyang aling na butos para sa kanyang bubunan. 24 to 16, ang ating talaan, pabor sa Mabua University, or sorry, San Sebastian College of Recoletos. Behind, of course, the seven points of Arjan de la Cruz. We'll be back for the second quarter. You are watching Season 94 of the NCAA.